Hi there. I wanted to share some news with you that is a little bit difficult to share. I've been trying to find the right words over the last few days and there just doesn't seem to be a perfect way to share this. Um, and it's, it's, it's a bit difficult because this is a very personal issue and one of the most difficult experiences I've had to go through. I've gone through it in private on my own so far and with a close network of friends and family, but I've felt that it's important for me to share this news with you. As many of you know, I underwent surgery in December of 2020 to remove a tumor that was found in my large intestine. I'd been having some abdominal pain over the preceding months that became increasingly worse and it eventually got to the point where I couldn't sleep at night. I went to the doctor, we did several examinations and they found a large tumor in my descending colon. The tumor was pretty sizable and it was nearly blocking my entire digestive tract. Um, based on the size and how much blockage there was, it was pretty clear that the situation was, was urgent and I needed to have surgery very quickly. So that's why I ended up having surgery two days after we found out that I had that tumor. Uh, needless to say, that was a crazy time and I barely even had time to process what was happening before it took place. Um, but the good news is that we got through that. The surgery was a success. I've been healing very quickly, way faster than anticipated. Um, my strength has returned. I'm eating well, sleeping well, uh, working out again, and just feeling great overall. Uh, and I want to thank all of you for your thoughts and your prayers and your well wishes. I, it meant so much to me in the recovery process as I just navigated that whole experience. It meant so much to have your support and to know that I have people who love and care about me. So thank you. Unfortunately, we did get some bad news. Uh, the tumor that they found and that they removed was in fact malignant and I was therefore diagnosed with colon cancer. Obviously this was a shock to me and uh, could not really comprehend what they had told me at the time. It just didn't make any sense to me. In addition, they also saw a spot on my liver in the CT scan that they did. So we did a biopsy about a week after surgery and unfortunately that also did turn out to be cancerous. Because the cancer spread from the colon to the liver, uh, I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Obviously this has been a huge shock to me my family and pretty much everyone that I know. I, I thought that I, I've led a relatively healthy life, um, but sometimes unexplained things can happen. And um, this whole experience has really shook me to the core and made me face my own potential mortality. I took the first few weeks to myself to process it um, in private because there were just so many emotions that I was going through. Um, obviously my, my family knew uh, and a few close friends, but I really needed some time to um, really process what this meant for me and to uh, come to terms with my diagnosis.
obviously with a situation like this, there's so many emotions that that you go through and uh, I've gone through so many already from shock, uh, denial, uh, be just a sense of feeling numb, um, to being very angry and being very sad, a tremendous amount of grief that I've had to process in many, many tears for sure. But I've also found a lot of strength um, leaning on the people around me and on my own faith and my own spiritual life. Um, that has been really a key part of me being able to navigate this and to deal with it effectively. When you get a diagnosis like this, it, it in a lot of ways, it, it doesn't make sense and it's it's very shocking you know when you hear about cancer it's like other people have have cancer but i could never get that i'm a healthy guy i'm young i'm fit relatively and i'm shouldn't i wouldn't be a high risk uh candidate for that kind of a an illness but nonetheless here we are and I want you to know that right now I feel healthy and strong. Uh, honestly, if the doctors hadn't told me that I have anything wrong, I would not know it. I'm eating and sleeping well and uh, I, I, feel, I feel great, really. Nonetheless, we do know that um, I do have cancer in my body and there's the potential for real um, spread. So I will obviously have to be undergoing uh, some treatment over the coming months and I'll share more details with you uh, at a later time about that. But I just wanted to make this video to let you know that uh, I have been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Uh, I'm gonna do everything in my power to heal from this, to recover, to bounce back. I have every intention of overcoming this and I'm gonna do everything in my power um, to do just that. At the same time, I've been learning to find peace on an even deeper level, a level beyond our physical existence, to really feel a sense of peace that no matter which way this goes, it's gonna be all right and I can be at peace with whatever happens. But nonetheless, I am gonna give this everything that I have. I'm gonna work my hardest to heal my body. And perhaps that's not the best way to say it, working hard. I, I probably need to work less and relax more. So I'm going to relax my butt off, <laughs> laugh, sleep, take it easy, um, and give my body everything that it needs so that I can overcome this. Some of you might want to reach out and touch base and see how I'm doing over the coming weeks and I really appreciate that. I have been so grateful to have such a strong support network of people who care about me. But please know that um, it may take me a few days or, or a week potentially to get back to you. Um, I've had a lot on my plate in terms of uh, arranging all of the things for my treatment and trying to get back to all of my friends and family uh, who have been reaching out so far. I will do my best, but uh, please be patient with me uh, in getting back to you and please understand that um, I am grateful. I am so appreciative of your support and um, we will talk soon. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, in future videos about how things are going, share with you more about my treatment, and give you updates on my general progress. Thank you so much for being a part of my life, and I uh, hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks.